guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be working on my Zircon 150 go-kart. So I've had this go-kart for a few years. Uh, a couple years ago, we were out ripping it, me and a buddy, um, and uh, ended up blowing up. It looked like the transmission uh, was low. Uh, so this go-kart does have like an integrated reverse, and uh, yeah, that was low on fluid. No idea, ended up smoking the uh, transmission. Engine is still actually good, but because it's integrated, um, you know, we're not gonna mess with it. A lot of crap in there. So I'm actually gonna be pulling out the, uh, the engine, which we started to, gosh, I don't know, a couple years ago, started to get most of the stuff out. And uh, then it just kind of sat. So we're gonna get this out of here. I'm gonna pull off the wing. I'm gonna have to end up cutting some stuff, but what is gonna be going in here is gonna be awesome. So around Black Friday, I picked up a Duramax 18 horsepower, 440 cc engine. And so that's gonna be getting shoehorned into this bad boy. So I think the original GY6 150cc motor made something like nine horsepower, uh, nine or 10. And the new motor is rated at 18 horsepower, but then we're gonna be doing some things like uh, removing the governor, putting in uh, 18 pound valve springs, uh, jetting the carburetor and just, you know, performance intake, performance exhaust. So it should be a 20 horsepower ripper and uh, should scream in this thing. So, and if you see this kind of uh, crazy wing back here, this actually came off of a car that we used to have. And this was just kind of sitting in my buddy's house for years. So he brought it over and, you know, we bolted it on. So I think it's kind of cool. So uh, yeah, looking forward to this thing. Uh, it's got a bench seat too, right? So be able to take the kids, cruise the kids. Um, we're here in Michigan, so when we go up um, up north a little bit, there's a lot of trails and stuff like that we can take the kids on. And then of course, just riding it around our property. So it should be a pretty awesome build. Uh, I've still got to order a few more parts like the uh, torque converter. Um, we may have to do some things like flipping the axle around, but overall it should be an awesome project. So we're looking forward to it. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so I just went ahead and unbolted the uh, whole kind of back assembly. This was just a big flat piece of metal right here, and we have the wing bolted to it. So it's kind of a big safety hazard. It seems like you're always smacking your head on this aluminum wing or this thing. So quick four bolts, zipped it on out of there. Now we got some more access to the motor. So it looks like all I've got left here uh, holding this motor on is just uh, kind of a long bolt here or a bolt here. So a couple bolts, this will come in through the bottom. And... Uh, I don't have the 440 here with me, it's in my basement, in my workroom, but uh, I don't think she's going to fit kind of right in the same area. So probably what I'm going to do is once I get this motor finagle out of here, I think I'm going to chop the top of this whole brace assembly off. So I want to be able to put it back just in case I can reuse it, but I think for now I'll kind of make a, a snip about right there. And same thing on the front, and that way when I want to put it back together I can just sleeve it, re-weld it all. But want to get that out of the way and then I'll be able to start uh, once I get the motor uh, finished as far as pulling the governor off and all that crap I can bring it back here and start uh, doing the mock-up on it so um, yeah so that's it so we're gonna get to that all right boys so we got the uh, reverse cables pulled out of the front I got the wiring harness out and I actually got this last long bolt that was about yay big, got her snatched out, she fell right down, and now we just gotta pull the motor out, and she'll be out of there. So let's see if uh, we can do this pretty easy here. She's light. Oh, dang. All right, let's pop this out. Right? Here we go. So, yeah, the stock little 150, I mean, she's like, she's got some uh, corn kernels on her, looks like there was some ice on her, but, uh, yeah, so that's it. Next up, we're going to start cutting some stuff, do some fab work. All right, guys, so we're back, and we've got this engine out, and so I'm over here looking at this thing, and at first I was thinking that we were probably going to have to, come down here with me for a sec, I was thinking we are going to cut this kind of whole cage off to be able to you know get in here get your hands on the motor do the mount and all that stuff but looking at it I think I'm just going to chop off this middle stuff here this part um, we'll chop off the battery tray so basically we'll just take out this T we'll take out this top bar this bar here and I think the sides are going to be fine and that's going to give us enough room to be able to sit the engine down in here fabricate the plate down here so we have a go power sports uh, plate for for the 420 and um, I'm also kind of hoping, you know, I've seen where another guy did a similar swap and uh, what he did was he actually 
took the axle and swatched the axle, <laughs> swatched, he switched the axle around, um, which I could do that too. Looks like I just have to kind of re-weld uh, this little bracket here for the, uh, for the uh, brakes, but I got the reverse shifter thing gone because we don't need that anymore. We ain't gonna have no reverse. And we came over here and we snipped out that engine, got her going, and uh, she's over in the junk pile now. So now we can start, uh, next step is gonna be cutting here, cutting here, and cutting there to go ahead and make some room in here so that way we can drop the old big block down on her and what I'll end up having to fabricate is some kind of mounts you know down here so I have a huge plate like a motor plate that I'll have to somehow locate down here uh, for the motor so that's uh, that's gonna be kind of the big thing but I'm hoping that's all I gotta do is just kind of cut that off give me a bunch of room drop the motor in make a plate and uh, run a couple wires, you know, to the front. Got to get a new battery, new battery, and we'll be rocking and rolling in no time. I still got to buy a torque converter to go off Amazon, so that might take like a freaking week or something. But it looks weird without the wing, so I took the wing and stuff off just to make room so I don't hit my dang head on that thing. Because she hurts, boy. She hurts. All right, boys, made a little more progress. So I was uh, did a little cutting with the sawzall and removed this T bracing. So got rid of this, and now we've got a whole ton of room in here to be able to install the new motor. And uh, looking at this, I was at first thinking, sit that down, that uh, maybe this was movable, this uh, sprocket, but it's actually not. So it's kind of uh, welded as part of the axle here. So what I'm going to have to do is just unbolt the axle. I'm going to flip it around. And then what I'm going to have to do is to then go ahead and fabricate, probably actually I can cut this off here and then just weld it on the other side and kind of move around the, um, the uh, caliper there. So hoping that'll be an easy thing. So I'm going to go ahead and blow the axle off and then swap around around. Got it all the way? Oh, I think it's still on there. Yep. Make sure you get it out there. Hold on, get it on first. Yep, push it, push it hard and do it. Almost, keep going. Just got a few more threads. Good job. Uh, why is it? It's. Yep, you got it. Perfect. One wheel off. I think 100 to go more. One yeah! more done. Yeah! We're going to do the, uh, the hub things, I guess, and then swap her around. Good job, buddy. All right, guys, so a few minutes later and we got the axle completely swapped. So now we've got our sprocket in the right side so we can have our engine positioned somewhere here. And uh, the only thing we're gonna have to fabricate now is uh, the mount for the caliper. So this piece here, I think I can actually just kind of flush cut it and just pop her right on this side and she'll connect right to here. And then same thing with this bracket down here. Um, we'll see if I can salvage it. If not, I can just make a new one. It's easy enough, but uh, I can probably just go ahead and cut that right out and off the welder over there. So that'll probably be for tomorrow. Pull out the welders and handle that. But uh, yeah, it's not bad. I've been working on this thing today, just kind of off and on, probably maybe an hour total, you know, swapping the mo pulling the old motor out, swapping this thing around and uh, pulling out some of the necessary stuff like the old wiring harness and the uh, reverse uh, reverse and gear selector thing in the job which we don't have anymore so yeah pretty good uh, pretty good progress pretty easy for today so hopefully uh, we'll get that swap tomorrow and then we're gonna have to also think about how we're going to mount the engine so what I'm thinking is maybe an upright coming off this bar here coming upwards because uh, we're gonna need the engine you know probably stand a few inches taller Maybe it's easier to see on this side. Yeah, so you can see, so we kind of got to clear like this rotor and all that stuff. So a few inch stand up and then probably over and then we'll connect the stand up over to probably this bar here. So, uh, or I can even run probably from here, just go ahead and put a bar straight across, weld it, and then we'll just run a stand up with the bar over to that. Maybe two of those. Kind of, you know, one here, one here, upright, straight, straight, and then we can put our plate, our Go Power Sports plate, weld that on there, and then it'll be done. Then the engine can get set on there and uh, run a couple wires, and we'll be rolling. 
All right, guys, so if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and keep following along to see more cool builds like this. Thanks.